Okay, recording this video, 6.19pm Chicago time, Sunday evenings, Monday morning, Sydney time. I uh, just thought I'd put out a quick video just showing what's on my charts. So finally the news out of Greece uh, is out. The uh, socialists did not get in, uh, not kind of a majority uh, at this stage. But, you know, the question is, who's going to be able to form some kind of coalition government? So I still think, you know, everything's kind of up in the air, really. Uh, but, you know, it's caused a 10-point um, uh, jump in the uh, e-mini. We've got up to 30, uh, 47 on the news. We kind of sold off, kind of closed the gap a little bit, kind of bouncing off 39 at the moment. You know, kind of Rambo patterns, top and bottom, just kind of marking this kind of congestion zone. Um, for me, you know, what's what I see in my charts is we've got two things kind of going on in the weekly and the daily charts. The weekly charts are all showing exhaustion volumes, like what we've had over the last three or four weeks is an exhaustion move in a particular direction. In terms of the risk on charts, it's been downwards, and we've kind of ended up m making some end of trend patterns and kind of exhaustion selling patterns and uh, we've had a bounce from there over the last you know, week or two but what we're doing on those uh, daily charts is coming up into pullback levels where we'll get a continuation of the downtrend on the risk charts and kind of flip that the other way for the uh, risk off charts so uh, we're kind of caught a little bit in the middle. We kind of run out of puff temporarily, but we're coming back into a zone uh, where this kind of downtrend on the risk charts is going to continue, I believe. So um, let me just i will rip through the charts really quickly and just show you what those patterns are looking like. So that's the fifth, uh, 500 tip bar chart here in terms of the uh, longer time frame tip bar chart, 40,500 tip bar chart. You know, we're kind of um, coming back up under this 1350 type level that we kind of you know got rejected at last time but we've not seen exhaustion buying kind of up here so I think Tuesday Monday into Tuesday is going to be kind of critical in terms of looking for a, a turn um, and you know maybe a blow off type move uh, with pull back to end of trend on this higher time frame so maybe on Monday you know, we might get some, uh, you know, now a little bit of the uncertainty is kind of off the table, uh, kind of people jumping in a little bit and kind of uh, chasing uh, a little bit of an uptrend. But I think it might end up with a blow-off type move. So here's all these weekly charts on the risk-on charts. So we're ended up, this is uh, Euro here, pull back to end of trend with exhaustion selling down here. Blue professional bars kind of coming into those lows. But, you know, we've just had this little jump up in, in the Euro 27.3. Uh, amateur up bars kind of last week and this is f f causing a pause in the market right here because we've got this support coming in the exhaustion selling kind of come in here but um, I think this is you I mean this has got to be resolved the bottom is not in until we see first bullish divergence patterns at least kind of coming in so this is just causing us to bounce a little bit as that's kind of previous lows uh, here down in the mid 20s so that's why technically you know it's kind of an area to come in but the the trend is still a downtrend on the daily chart so that's got to got to uh, kind of write itself so here's the weekly chart euro uh, crude we've got cyclical whoops cyclical support kind of due on crude uh, we've got uh, Aussie dollar here again exhaustion selling on the downside here just showing that we kind of run out of puff uh, temporarily silver silver we're at cyclical resistance here on the, on the weekly chart but this is just itching to break through here we had this kind of um, uh, mega blow off move to pull back to end of trend after exhaustion buying and so on we kind of uh, blue professional bars the last time we came in here at this little rise above 35 you know getting an opportunity to get short and we've kind of come down here we've not seen blue professional bars at the lows and it's just ready to jump jump through that uh, kind of support level there into a, a strong kind of downtrend move which will be a strong uh, up move in the US dollar. Just by the way, I'm kind of printing on my weekly charts. For me, it just helps me kind of identify where I think the beginning and ends of trends are with these kind of big, big vertical dollar lines. So the end of the uptrend here on this uh, silver weekly chart. Gold, same thing. We've had this kind of rise back up to the support level. Support becomes resistance, maybe kind of turning over. Uh, copper, exhaustion selling on the downside, blue professional bars, and we're bouncing from there due for a cyclical support kind of this week. So, uh, and then back to Euro. So those weekly charts, you can see they're all kind of identical. If you look on the weekly charts of the risk off uh, markets, you can basically see kind of the uh, reverse pattern. So dollar index, exhaustion buying here, uh, resistance kind of coming on this time frame. US dollar, um, sorry, this is uh, 30 year. 
uh, bonds, uh, pull back to end of trend, blue professional bars, exhaustion buying. So just just like the euro kind of chart, just the flip side of that, and just showing the exhaustion of buying activity that's kind of just temporarily run out of puff. Uh, here we've got the 10 year same thing, pull back to end of trend, exhaustion buying, blue professional bars up here, and the 5 year same deal, pull back to end of trend. Little less, um, uh, you know, we've had our exhaustion buying kind of earlier on, it's kind of less strong in terms of buying going on here. So those are the weekly charts, they're kind of the flip side of the daily charts, uh, of the, uh, um, the weekly risk off charts, which are the flip side of the weekly risk on charts. But you go to the daily charts, we're still in downtrend. So uh, crude oil. So yes, we've had our exhaustion uh, selling down here. First bullish divergence kind of come in, but we've got to make pullback to end of trend. So we're in this sequence here where we're waiting for this pullback. Um, you know, it's been pre pretty weak, you know, in all these charts over the last several two weeks, really, basically. So we've been rallying up here. So we're just waiting for this turn to kind of come in, which would be pullback in a downtrend. And we get that kind of continuation of that downtrend move. Aussie dollar, here we go, we're coming very close in. You know, we're still sitting around this parity type level. Uh, we're just waiting for that resistance level to kind of print. Uh, Euro, same deal, got that kind of coming up. So I'm saying kind of Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, kind of as a timing for that turn is, is kind of pretty important. Uh, gold, we're sitting under resistance here. This has been made. And again, this just shows how weak that rally is back into their silver. Pullback level's been made. So waiting for this uh, to kind of start correcting on the downside. And then uh, copper, same deal. So we've got a little bit of uh, time to run here, but we're below cyclical support, you know, kind of bouncing support becomes resistance potentially. So there we go. So that's all the daily charts on the risk on charts. And then on daily charts on risk off, uh, you see a kind of mirror image. So dollar index, we're waiting uh, for this to come down and make support. We kind of, you know, resistance becomes support. We've kind of broken through it temporarily uh, at the moment here. 30-year um, bonds, so same thing, kind of coming up here. If you look on the interest rate charts, you know they're all coming up in the next couple of days to that cyclical turning point. And uh, here's the five-year. The pullback levels kind of coming in on the five-year chart with cyclical support kind of come in there. And then the 10-year, the again, just waiting uh, for that level to kind of print. So that's why I'm kind of looking at these charts on the daily time frames, just waiting for those um, you know, cyclical resistance and support levels on the daily time frames to kind of come in. And because they're trend moves on the daily charts, the you know, trend trumps cycles. So even though the, you know, the higher time frame is more important, and that's uh, but we've still got to, to finish off that trend move on the daily time frame. I've been kind of selling that uh, story for the last week, so you've kind of heard that before. And then just in terms of the daily charts of the E-mini, so this is continuous contract day and night, and you can see that's that resistance level that we're waiting to print here. And it's kind of flush patterns kind of coming up to that. So, you know, again, you know, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, potentially to uh, to put that level in and then to kind of come down on another leg down is what I'm looking for. And the reason why, you know, in a uh, trend move, uh, in a downtrend move, the uh, resistance levels will be printed quickly and confirmed quickly. Uh, because the trend is strong in, to the downside, and therefore those levels they don't they don't get broken. They just you bounce off them, they get formed, and then you kind of move in the other direction kind of quickly. If we were in an uptrend, a resistance level would be printed, but we'd hang around that resistance level for a while, and basically um, you know possibly uh, violate it before kind of coming down. So I'm just because. Th if we're in a downtrend, that level will be printed quickly and confirmed quickly. The move will be quick away from it. Uh, but if we're in an uptrend, we'll just hang around that level, having it being printed, and we'll just kind of you know wait and see from there. And, and the market will lack conviction. So that's why I'm just looking for this level, because I do believe we're in a downtrend in all of these risk-on markets. Therefore, the level will print quickly, and we'll get confirmation. We'll move away from it quickly. So I think we're looking, in my view, I think we've got potentially one of these really kind of big uh, down days midweek, you know, kind of potentially Wednesday-ish. Uh, for a, a big down down day. And then just on the oscillators last chart here, trin oscillators, you know, we've got this kind of cluster of sell signals just like we did kind of laterally in this last kind of move up. And we've had now two bearish divergence uh, signals print on the better trin indicator. We're kind of overbought here at 149. And yeah, we had a little bit of you know strength into Friday. It was kind of gunned up, really. Friday was a tricky day to trade. I'd, I'd lost two and a half points. It was just like trading treacle, really awkward. And then 
um, you know, option expiry, that kind of stuff going on. So I think it was just being gamed up a little bit, and we had that spike at the end of the day. So uh, that's all that kind of showed, that little bit of spike. But we've had those two kind of bearish divergent signals kind of come in. We're just waiting for that turn down in the trend oscillator. So, you know, we might get some good news on Monday with people thinking, oh, thank God the Greek election news is in and it's not a disaster. So let's kind of jump on board. Uh, but then looking for my cyclical resistance levels to kind of come in on maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. So that's what I'm uh, looking at at the moment. I uh, hope you're enjoying your weekend and looking forward to uh, Monday, Tuesday's trade.